My name is Judson Hale, Sr. I'm known as the editor-in-chief here at Yankee, and I'm on the chairman of the board at Yankee Publishing. The museum, it, a lot of people think it's a joke. It's not a joke. They think it's totally serious. It's not totally serious. It's somewhere in between, and you can decide yourself which it is. <laughs> New York. My mother had an apartment there. She was a singer, so she always had an apartment in New York City. And I was there, and I went around to various places looking for work, a job, and I told people I could major in English at Dartmouth, and I could drive an M47 tank. And neither one, neither of those two things impressed anybody. So I didn't get any work, so I t told my mother about it and was lamenting about it one evening. She said, why don't you write or call my brother? He owns a little magazine. I forget the name of it up there in the wilds of New Hampshire. So I did. Came up here, I decided I would work here for three, four months, and I could get back to those places that said, we can't use a person that can drive a tank, and say I could do this, that, and the other. Well, I came to Dublin, New Hampshire population, whatever it was, 1,500. I was raised in a town of 800. I loved small towns. And when I arrived here with Sally, my wife, we had been married just five days when, and we rented a house just down the hill here. I felt sort of like I was coming home. So after a year or so, I began to think, well, this is a job, not just a temporary thing. And then it became sort of a career. And finally, I don't know when, it sort of morphed into my life. It is my life now. What was written by Rob Sagendorf that on the very first issue in 1935, he said, Yankee's destiny is the expression and perhaps indirectly the preservation of our New England culture. And so I, every month I was trying to capture that culture and I never wanted to identify it by a definition, but I always was trying to some months we came close, some months we'd, we'd miss. Well, the current editor, Mel Allen, feels the same way. And of course, he's a wonderful writer, he's a wonderful editor, and he has the feeling for New England that is subtle and cannot be easily explained. But Mel's got it. <laughs> I think you can overanalyze things. I, I would not attempt to, just, to uh, define what New England is. I would just want to live it. I'd want to contribute to it. I'd want to be it. I am what I am. I'm a New Englander. I've never lived anywhere else. I was born in Boston. I was raised in Maine. I've been in New Hampshire all my life. I went to Dartmouth. I'm a New Englander. So you want to know what a New Englander is? Take a look. What is it's me. When anybody asks me, is there anything else that I want to say, I've always, over the years, said no. <laughs> <laughs>